Hey friends, Mac T Ford Edge here, and uh, I've got an oil test on Herbie. That's right, Herbie, our project vehicle, is maturing quite nicely. Yeah, it's clocking in 20,000 miles. Can you believe that? 20,000 miles just about on the clock on old Herbie, and Herbie's been performing well. Uh, matter of fact, it's, I was talking to uh, friend Jeff, and I was telling you, you know, I have not driven Herbie for probably a month and a half now. Ever since my daughter got her full driver's license, I have not touched Herbie. I even have to ask her, well, is everything all right? You know, I haven't even been in Herbie. I haven't touched him. I haven't driven him. I haven't done anything. So, you know, I rely on my daughter, although I think later on, uh, I'm going to steal Herbie and take Herbie out for my job one day and just give Herbie another highway run because she only drives Herbie like two miles a day. So Herbie needs to get out on the highway, burn the cobwebs out, get some of that city driving out of there, get the, get the juices flowing up to speed, up to temp, and do long range runs just, just to get things going. So we'll, we'll get Herbie out there, clean Herbie up on that. But yeah, 20,000 miles. Anyway, I've got all the oil tests for Herbie since we uh, built Herbie. And I got the most recent one. But I do want to cover a few things. Uh, this, since this is uh, very rare that we get oil testing for a brand new 3.7 crate engine that was installed all the way up to uh, 20,000 miles, I thought you all would be interested to see how an engine breaks in as it goes through time and oil changes because this is a rarity so that we're talking a crate engine through 20,000 miles you're not going to see that anywhere but here because I do oil testing on every oil change so we've got a start of it and back when we did the first oil change on Herbie uh, we had a lot of things so I'm going to go chronologically down and I'll post uh, everything up right over here so you guys can see that and uh, see what's going on with the testing that I'm reading so you can follow on and see what chronologically is going on with old Herbie as uh, Herbie is progressing through maturity and getting broken in because apparently there is some breaking on these engines uh, you wouldn't believe it but there is so going on the first oil test for aluminum first one universal averages for aluminum are four but Herbie on the first oil change was 16 parts per million. The next oil change, Herbie, was at 12 parts per million aluminum. And this last oil change, aluminum was at 7 parts per million. Any bets that it gets lower later? I bet you it does. The next thing was chromium. And as far as the universal averages, chromium for this engine is zero. And guess what? Herbie is zero across the board. Flatline that one completely. So there's no chromium wear. And then the next one was iron. Universal average for iron for an engine is about 12 parts per million. Herbie, yes, Herbie started out first oil change at 26 parts per million. Then he went down to 19 parts per million for the next oil change. And then he went up to 20 parts per million for the last oil change. Now, I'm also going to tell you that Herbie is still rocking the original oil filter then at this time. And this last oil change here, we did put a new oil filter in Herbie. So Herbie's got a new oil filter for the next oil change. So that may cause something to go down there. Uh, copper, universal averages for copper is 18 parts per million. And uh, as with all things, uh, the first oil change on Herbie was 66 parts per million copper on the very first oil change. The next oil change went down to 18 parts per million. Okay, we're seeing a trend here. And then the last oil change that we just did to copper was at 10 parts per million, which is definitely below the universal averages. So you can see the copper definitely dropped big time. And then the lead and the tin were all flatlined all the way across the board. Uh, so we didn't have anything as far as any lead or tin that was in the engine. Now the engine oil types, I didn't keep track of those too much. They're, they're, trust me, they're all synthetic. And here's the thing, Herbie has been rocking 5 or 10 W30 motor oil since the first turn of the key. Herbie has never seen a 520 oil ever. So all these oil tests that you're seeing are all 5 W30 oil or 10 W30. That is what we run in, in Herbie. So uh, if you want to know, 
just like my other edge in another video, it's all 5 or 10W30 oil. I do not run 20W or 5W20 in any of my edges anymore. Not ever. So uh, that's where we're at. But the Molly B was very high as far as uh, what was in the oils. I mean, we're talking, it was rocking 268 to 102. So a lot of Molly B in there, but uh, it just depends what oils I was, was using at the time. But uh, they're all pretty good oils, and uh, they're all synthetics. So just keep that in mind. I, I'm not brand loyal, as you all know. So uh, you don't expect me to say one way or another. But they are a synthetic, off-the-shelf oil for the most part. And uh, they will do a good job. I think this last time I used the uh, Driven LS30 uh, or something like that oil in it. So it's got a racing oil in Herbie, I think, this time. I'm uh, not sure. I can't remember what I did. But anyway, that's what uh, we, we did with that one. So we'll see what it turns out. We'll do a good 3,000 miles because after all, it's short runs. My daughter drives it about two miles a day. So th that's going to be like, you know, excruciatingly hard miles on the oil. So we'll go from there. But as far as the uh, viscosities, the viscosities were pretty low this last oil change. I uh, don't have any rhyme or reason why that was there. Uh, just the testing showed they were low, which I don't quite understand why they would show that they're low. But uh, they're like 52.2 and a 7.95. But the flash point was still 445. So way up there, like the other oil test. And we had no fuel, no coolant, no water. Uh, insolubles is a 0.1. Uh, which is pretty much what we're looking at. And then the TBN was a 3.4, uh, which was right in the middle of all the other oil changes with the highest being 4.5 and the lowest being a 2.1. So, yeah, overall, we're doing good. Now, as far as the uh, oil testing goes, what the, what the Blackstone Lab wrote was the engine is matured nicely, aluminum, silicone are in line with universal averages. So most of the wear-in material washed out. Both elements may improve a little more from here as any remaining wear in metal leaves the system. But if not, we won't complain if they are holding steady. Iron is a little high on a per mile basis. It's from steel parts like cylinders and shaft. And it's just something to note for now. The viscosity is in the 520 range, which I find that hard to believe because I didn't put 520 in there. Uh, but it is, there's no contaminations present. Uh, basically they said run it about 5,000 miles so I'll run another 3,000 miles and again like I said we got a 5w30 in there I'm pretty sure because that's what we put in so we'll see what it says on the next oil test but this is the progress of a crate engine from zero miles all the way up to 20,000 miles of oil testing so if you guys want to know what these uh, brand new th uh, 3.5s are doing this is what one's doing. I don't think anybody's ever tested a brand new engine in this milestone like this up through 20,000 miles to see how it breaks in and what kind of metals we are looking at as far as driving and everything else. So that's it. Uh, that's our oil testing as far as Herbie goes. Uh, uh, and Herbie, if you guys didn't know, is 2011 Ford Edge SEL. Uh, it, it had... It had a blown engine. We completely replaced everything in it and added a 3.7 into that SEL and a lot of other work that went into it. So it's not your standard SEL. It is essentially under the hood. It's a sport. So uh, my daughter drives it, has fun driving it, and every time she hits the gas, she yells, go, Herbie, go. So <laughs> that ought to tell you something. But anyway, my feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day. I want you to have a great day, too. Band of One's always got some great music to play. And Mercy Girl, she's always got a couple of one-liners for you. Waiting to happen. Okay, I can't today? wait to see the next letter. It'll probably be your funeral. <laughs> Thank you for watching MacT's videos and remember to like and subscribe. This is a Mercy Go production.